Hey guys, um, so yesterday I returned to Central for the 199 times this year. And it, it was great, I met people and talked to them and it, it, was, it was awesome as always. Um, and right now what I'm about to do is that I'm gonna, I'm gonna review uh, Road 1, uh, the Star Wars story, um, due to uh, a friend requests so yeah that's what I'm about to do and if you haven't seen the movie I do recommend seeing it first before you watch this video but I'm gonna try my best um, not not to spoil it too much because I already have a uh, spoiler free reviews on uh, Facebook and uh, in this video it's gonna contain very little like some minors of uh, spoilers so there you go, you've been warned. Alright, let's jump right into it. Um, I really, really, really like Rope 1. I didn't love it. Uh, I, um, I I feel there's... Um, I mean, the movie's really good, but it's, it's, it's not great. It's not, um, for example, last year, uh, The Force Awakened. I absolutely love The Force Awakened. Um, but I left the theater uh, last night feel feeling, not feeling the same, um, like passion and, you know, um, like that Star Wars feels that I, I felt for The Force Awakened. But overall, I really, really enjoy, um, Rogue One. Um, the mo <coughs> excuse me. That's better. All right, so um, one of the thing, let let's start off with the thing that I really enjoy in the movie. Um, the special effects are just perfection, like from the practical to the CGI, and uh, sometimes like a um, little bit of both um, together. It just, it just wow. It's just like it's like a reminder of why Star Wars is such a um um it has such an impact on uh visual effect uh in cinema and um yeah it's the the, the visual effect is just um off the chart um in terms of uh like action sequences they're really really fun to watch um the the, the new cast they have done a really good job especially uh, Donnie Yen who I admire uh, greatly. Um, he had some of the coolest and really unique, um, like hand-to-hand -hand combat that you you haven't seen in a Star Wars movie before. It's it just really really cool to see. Um, and the 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 air battles, the when the AT AT uh, shows up and the. Uh, the Vader's Jesus Christ! <laughs> We're gonna talk about Vader later, but what I'm trying to say, the action you you're not gonna be disappointed by uh, the action. Um, what else? Um, this is the f the first time that I've seen a prequel movie that took place literally just five ten minutes before the movie like the, the the event after that that you can watch this movie and then you pop up a, a new hope and it's just it's like it, it's connected so so well and this is so it's just so cool to see from especially in, in star war uh saga um now let's go to the, some of the things that i thought was a bit disappointed. Um, the characters, they introduce a lot of new characters in this uh, movie and only one of them have um, like a background or some some type of depth to her character and that's that is uh, Jin Erso who's played uh, brilliantly by Felicity Jones. Um, <clears throat> and the the rest of the cast who I thought 
did a phenomenal job. Um, Captain uh, Cassin Andor, the new droid, K2SO, uh, Donnie Yen, again. Uh, he has a friend who I can't remember the name. I'm so sorry. But all those characters, um, they're really fascinating and really entertaining to watch on the screen. But they lack, they, they lack the depth that you would come to expect from a Star Wars movie because if you look at the original trilogy, you have uh, Han Solo, you got Luke Skywalker, you have um, Princess Leia who have um, incredible amount of depth to their characters. So, which is why when you follow their journeys, you you, f you feel like when they're in danger, you, you don't want them to die, you don't want them to get hurt. Um, even in the prequel tri uh, trilogy, um, I thought Ewan uh, McGregor was phenomenal as um, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And um, Padme had a good depth to her characters. And even Anakin Skywalker have a, a, a great storyline for him, to be honest. It's just he was just played by the, the, the wrong actors, in my opinion. But I thought the three of them had really good depth to their characters. Um, in The Force Awakens, you are totally behind. Like you are, you are just rooting for Ray and Finn to, to you know, to, to be where they, they want to be, and um, I, and you just can't wait to see more from those characters. But in this movie, Rogue One, <clears throat> you have these characters who, um, are fairly one-dimensional and you know e even though they're really really cool to watch um you just can't you just can't really get behind and you know when they're in danger you you you, just, you can't really feels like you want them to get to safety because you just you just don't know what their character motivation is um and it's really disappointing because you know i i, I try my best <coughs> excuse me I try my best not to criticize the movie too much for um, the lack of uh, character depth because I was fine with it in Suicide Squad. I was fine with it in uh, Magnificent Seven. I mean, why would I draw the line now? But I'm just saying this is a Star Wars movie where to have a history of really um, iconic characters, let's just say that, and you... It's it's kind of disappointing to to, to see uh, that happen in uh, Rogue One, and I one one other things that I I thought was kind of disappointing is, is the the musical score. Um, I um, Michael I just can't remember his name, but he's one music composer who I respect a lot. And I thought his score is not, it's not like terrible or it's not even bad. It's actually a good score, but it's, it's nowhere near John Williams' score. And it's, it's kind of disappointing. And um, yeah, um, I, I, I talk about the CG. I, I really like the use of uh, visual effect in this movie, except for one thing. And it's really... It's really unfortunate because it's, um, well, it's, spoiler alert, it's a uh, full CG uh, Tarkin, who I, a character that I really like in the original <clears throat> tril trilogy. Um, and when they first introduced him, I was like, oh, okay, this is really, really cool. But then he keeps showing up, showing up throughout the movie. And the motion capture work is not bad. It's, it's actually really, really impressive. But... The, you know, you know how's like, when you CG a thing or like, um, like a creature, it look real. But when you do, a human, because you're so used to seeing it, every day in your life, when something is kind of odd, you you just notice it like instantly, and it's really unfortunate because. When you have like a wide shot, and he's like far away from the camera. You, it, it's look, it's look really impressive. It look scary, um, realistic. But when he's like 
close up, when it's a close up, and he's like right next to a real person, um, and and you just kind of like you can just spot the, the 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 difference like right away. It's just like like that, and it's really unfortunate to to, to say say uh, such thing about uh, his character because I I really like him, um, and uh. Okay, I'm gonna talk about Darth Vader. In my personal opinion, I think that this movie could have used more of him. Um, even though this the the scene he was in, it was just absolutely um amazing. It was it was perfection like the the actor who was like in the costume um he did a phenomenal job with like his movement and the way he walked the way he kicked ass and it's it just it's just so so awesome to see um and the guy who voices james earl um damn it what is it with last name that i, I keep forgetting last name today but yeah he he's back to voice vaders and it's just it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, but they only have a couple of scenes in this movie, and by, by couple, I really mean couples. Like there's literally two scenes of Darth Vader's in this movie, and it, I thought it could have used more of him. Um, but I was really happy with uh, the stuff that he he did in the movie, um, like towards the end. Uh, like if you saw the movie, you you know what I'm talking about. That's all that I'm gonna do uh, to demonstrate the Darth Vader scenes. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I overall, I, I I didn't love the movie, but I really really like it. Um, I don't think it's as as good as uh, the Force Awakens last year, and um, but it's definitely uh, a much better uh, prequel than the. The, the prequel trilogies and um, I, I I really do recommend this movie if you're a Star Wars fan um, so yeah thank you for watching guys and I'll see you soon may the force be with you